Hey there, everybody. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I have our three creative cluster kits ready to go in this week's journals. I am working on journals right now. I'll give you a sneak peek at the covers that we have going. I'm kind of crazy about them. We've got, um, there's just something about these colors that is just I had to go grab them. Um, this is like a damask and teal-ish green. I just think that that is really pretty. I'm really preferring the hemp cording here for our binding. Uh, you know, it really gives me an opportunity to use big beads, and I really enjoy that big bead process. Uh, we've got a little bit of, uh, you know, vino, wine-inspired, a wine-inspired book. Uh, again, the, the pretty hemp cording on the side. I love this because I really love the, the grapes against these beautiful uh, grapevine leaves and... Um, and you know those, uh, what am I trying to say? Those twirly things, stems and stuff like that. And then we've got uh, a kimono, this kimono fabric that I, I've always loved this. And I don't, I don't use it very much because it's a little bit difficult to work with. But I do love this, uh, these kimono patterns here. So you know, you just got a little preview of the uh, of three of the covers that I'm working on this week. Let's check out these uh, creative cluster kits. Now, the kits go in the journals, but the journals, of course, are full of things for you to create with. Uh, but the, the kits are, uh, the, the whole book is curated. You guys know this. But the kits are just like a jump start. And they're a way to get quickly creative. So let's take these out. This is called ABC123. Now, you guys know that I'm super fond of using, um, you know, I, I love the lost, the abandoned, the orphan, the rejects, the trash, the odd, the misfit, uh, the singles, the stuff that's going to end up in a trash can, the weird, the derelict, the scraps, the homeless kind of art supplies. And I think this is a great uh, way to kind of give those homeless art supplies a great new beginning in life. So uh, from just some scrap uh, chipboard letters I created this little item for our ABC 123 creative cluster kit so you'll have something like this in your kit these awesome awesome Tim Tim Holtz grunge board letters so you've got three of those to play with you also have a nice hunk of uh, some ABC 123 writing utensil uh, fabric to play with so you know I, I mean I can see you guys like cutting out each individual pen here and uh, you know we've got William Shakespeare on this one different writers are featured on different swatches that go in these kits we do have like um, I love the like grungy nature of, of this little piece right here so you have something like this in your kit you got uh, an art trading card Two art trading card blanks, uh, more ABC one two three letters numbers um, question marks ampersands over here. So all kinds of fun things to play with. These are translucent ABCs right here. We've got one two threes right here. Um, I included <laughs> some reinforcements because reinforcements are like zero or O. Um, Again, an abandoned piece, but, you, you know, look at all those really pretty glitter letters. I just really thought that they were absolutely gorgeous. Another little grungy piece for you to play with. And then I did some Tim Holtz grunge board, um, not grunge board, but Tim Holtz letters. And I thought that those were really cool. Put those together on a piece of paper, and this one says read. They all say different things. Uh, each kit will say something different. And then, of course, a... Uh, a Scrabble tile really kind of just rounded that really did round that little kit out so you can see a lot of possibilities with that kit now I'm really excited about this one you guys we're calling this so-and-so and this is what the um, the kit looks like when you get it in your book it will be arranged like this it will have a little small binder clip so you've got a package 
of embellishments, ribbons, buttons, uh, seasonal buttons, uh, fabric scraps. Um, you've got all kinds of, um, you know, s sewing kind of, not, but not just sewing. It's kind of like an ephemera package as well. So let's just check this one out. Now remember you get the same types of things in your kits, but not the same things. Each kit is different. So this is a portion of one kit. I dig these little characters. I think these are Tim Holtz as well. Yes, yes, yes. I love Tim Holtz. So we've got this uh, to uh, to play with as well as this small piece of tea dyed paper here. Another piece of tea dyed paper. And then, you know, just an inspiration index card. I love inspiration index cards. I bought another batch of index cards today when we were at the grocery store. It's a great, um, you know, I always stop by the little stationary aisle because I, I tell you, you just kind of never know what you're going to run into there. Um, so this is, uh, this is the frontispiece that goes on our kits like this. And then this is what goes into the kit. So let's kind of take this apart, kind of see what we have. We have our buttons, we have ribbons, we have vintage rickrack, we have a collage napkin here piece. I love this, we've never used this before, but it is fabric that is arranged like, um, like records. Uh, it says quilt blue ribbon fever this one says fat bats and it's really they are circular which makes them great for you know like an art trading coin uh, embellishment on an art trading coin so we've got some ribbon and rickrack again these are vintage pieces a vintage simplicity sewing book that I just I love now this is a whole you know, it's a whole piece, so you have a lot to work with. Uh, some packaging from the aforementioned vintage ribbons, the vintage rickrack. I love this. I just think that is really super keen. Uh, you've got another piece here of, now this is just regular cardstock paper. Uh, but it's arranged, it's a 12 by 3 piece. You can cut it in half and make two 3 by 3 mini books out of it. Uh, got some pattern paper here, some sweet little buttons here, one, two, three, got a seasonal button for you, as well as a, a little charm, and it does have the jump ring on it, and it's two hearts, maybe you love sewing, and that would be a really fun um, embellishment for you to use on a sewing project. So that is what our Sew and Sew cluster looks like. We've got one more. Now this one is fun, fun, fun because this is a tactile building kind of, of kit for you. So you're going to build a desk sitter. Everything that you need to build the desk sitter is in the little kit. So you're going to have, um, now you guys probably have seen me do this before. Uh, I did do a video about a, um, desk sitters and my patrons actually got a desk sitter kit in one of their thank yous uh, over this past year. So we got a little bit of bling. We've got, you know, some decorative elements that you can cut apart. We've got decorative, uh, this is some decorative stamping from an original stamp that I made. And we've got things for you to color and add to your desk sitter. You know, whether you're using it for a piece of inspiration or you're going to uh, maybe give this away. Or maybe this will inspire you to create a whole bunch of these for... Um, you know, for your family and friends. It's a great little project and lots and lots of fun. This is some handmade deli paper, so I know that you'll enjoy that. And then you get the template uh, to build your own desk sitter. Um, during, um, I kind of, and this is what it looks like when it's all put together. So during a bit of a uh, downturn for me several years ago, uh, I started creating these and putting them on my desk at night. So when I hit my desk the next morning to prepare myself for work, I had something cheerful, happy, inspiring, uplifting, um, 
to to look at during the day when I was trying to sort uh, sort myself after a I think this was like in I don't know when was the last bad one 2008 I think is as uh, was a um, you know quite a bit of a downturn that um, <laughs> I had just bought a house well. But anyway, anyway, it is just a way to cheer yourself up, my friends. And it is it's a wonderful little tool to have in your arsenal if you find yourself like needing um, needing maybe a, a quick gift or the, because everything is flat, you can prepare these and put them in envelopes and ship them as Happy Mail. So just another really fun idea. And then we package all this together in a little kit that we add to our journal. So, my friends, we've got so-and-so. We've got ABC123. That's scattered over there. I showed you ABC123. <laughs> And we've got our desk sitter project. So I hope that you guys enjoy these creative cluster kits. They are fun to put together. It gives me an opportunity to give some homeless things a new lease on life. I hope that all of y'all have a great and happy day. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.